Hey everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. Guess what time it is? Yeah! It's time to play with some Gina Aaron stamps on our monthly challenge. And this month it is gifts. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, um, these are her um, sets, her stamp sets. I don't have a picture, but this has got the first stamp set that was originally on there. So I just have to remember that. This is, you know, anyways. <laughs> Here we go. Getting off track. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, here was my idea. Um, I have some friends that really like to send out cards, okay? And actually, I think it's a great idea sending out cards. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make some cards, but I want to try them a little bit different. And don't be surprised if you see a little black cat jump up here. He thinks it's passion time. Anyways, I've got these... Um, it's just like a, a craft sheet cards and I've got some craft sheet envelopes um, so what I'm going to do is I plan on decorating some of these a little bit differently so let me let's see what we've got here alright the first thing I've got is I've got my little sponger daubers here um, we're gonna start with some warm colors today uh, let's see let's throw out we're gonna, here we go. Here's the three we're going to start with. These are Dilutions. Just, they were the first three I grabbed. Um, we have Pure Sunshine, Cherry Pie, and Pomegranate Seed. And what I plan to do is I'm going to decorate these envelopes and then gift them to these friends of mine that enjoy sending out envelopes. Or as, enjoy sending out cards. So, now I have these um, shapes here that you can get these in Walmart. It's like five bucks and you get hundreds of different here, I'll show you. Uh, little stencils. See all these stencils? I think there's two different sets here. I think the blue is one set and then the purple is another set. But I mean, there's all kinds of... These these stencils are really cool. And I, I've never used them. So we're going to use them today. The only thing is they have these little nibbies on them. And I don't like those little nibbies. So I will have to go through and cut them off. They're actually stencils and masks. Um, on these, I don't believe I saved the masks. That's all right. It's all good. All right, so here's what I plan to do. And let's see if it turns out the way I'm hoping. Um, let's start out with a little bit of pure sunshine. I'm just gonna open these all up. Ugh, this one is, what I say, cherry pie. Love this color. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And then I like the pomegranate. Ugh. All right. And I'm just gonna start with my dabber here. Let me try and decide which way I want to do this. Let's start here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with the darker first. And then I just want to... Make this a... Let's fill it in. Why not? Okay, there's one. Now I'm going to take this and put it right here. And now I'm going to go to the cherry pie. Bring out some cherry pie here. I'm going to go with cherry pie. And then I'm going to go one more. And I'm actually going to grab a different sponger because this one's a little bit lighter, quite a bit lighter actually. Hmm. That one was right to the edge, so you know what? We're going to put this one right to the edge too, so let's do that. That, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, now I want to do kind of something similar to the envelope, but not exactly. So we're just going to use the same shape, but we're going to do a little bit different. Just going to give it some color because, you know, they may want to mail it right in this envelope. So let's um, just give them a little bit of color here. Do 
on here. And there goes my phone. Bing bong. Do, 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 do. All right, so that one I'm going to let dry. Now these should be pretty well dry, but I'm going to hit them real quick with a um, with a heat gun. I'll be right back. Okay, I just had this really cool idea, so we're going to try it and see if it works. Because these are dilution, no, the inks are the ones that ghost. I was going to try ghosting them, but I'm not, because this is paint. Don't mind me, my head's going 100 miles an hour. So let's, let me finish getting these dried up. And we're going to make a couple more cards, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. This one's sitting off to the side. I'm going to let it dry some more. Um, and I want to do some more, and I want to do these colors again. So I'm actually going to use my circle stencil this time. And this time we're going to go from light to dark. So we're going to go light. Or, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to do light there. Let's do a little bit of light here. We're playing. Gotta love playing, don't you? So much fun. Light. Okay, so there we've got our lights. Let's take our cherry pie. This one right here. Three. Now I'm not gonna do this. That's oh, alright. That's the way it is. We're just kind of we're doing it as we go. Then we're gonna take our pomegranate seed. Let's see where we're we gonna go with our pomegranate. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. There's one. And here's two. I'm going to go back in with this um, pure sunshine because I want a little bit more yellow. This one ended up getting completely covered up, so let's put it back right there. Let me get a little bit more. There we go. All right, we're gonna set that aside, let that dry a little bit, and we're gonna work on this envelope. Now, I notice already, first of all, I'm getting paint on them. I really don't care, they're artsy, right? That's what they're supposed to be. So we're just gonna do it the artsy way. All right, let's get our envelope done. And again, we don't wanna overdo the envelope, so if they decide to mail them, um, Let's just kind of put some color on here so they match. Two, and let's do right here, we'll do the pomegranate seed. Okay. All right, we're going to let this dry, and I'm going to grab another stencil. I'll be right back. All right, so now what I did is I cleaned up my cool color or my warm colors now I'm getting out my cool colors um, we're gonna use uh, vibrant turquoise we're gonna use polished jade and we're going to use fresh lime so 
that is going to be our fun for this one. All right, so we have our card. And again, I'm going to, you know, just run this differently. Maybe I'll do it the same. I don't know. Let's actually, I'm going to start down here. I'm going to start with the dark color, which I'm going to say is this jade. So we're just going to, this time I have stamps. I don't know where the rest of my dauber things are. So that's all right. This time I have sponges, I should say. It's all good. It's all good. So there's one. That's this one. Let's see. Let's do it like this. Okay, this is our... There's a little bug. A little bug. I hate those little... They're like fruit flies. I don't know where they come from. Um, this is a vibrant turquoise. So we're going to do a vibrant turquoise right here. So we'll cover that up with a vibrant turquoise. And then we're going to use our fresh lime. Which is going to go right here. And that's actually getting a little bit of um, the previous one in it, but that's okay. We'll get some more paint out here. We'll just keep making it lighter as we go. It's going to look good whether it's mixed in or its own color. So, Okay, so there's one. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the... Um, envelope like I did on the last ones oops wrong one I just stuck it in the wrong paint that happens okay here's one uh, this is gonna be our blue two and then this is going to be our lime green or fresh lime or I can't remember what the name of it is fresh lime all right now see I've got a little bit of fresh lime there, that's okay. I've got a little bit of paint there, that's okay. We're going to come back and we're going to um, decorate these. We're going to use stamps and pens and all kinds of goodies. So I'm just going to set that aside. I've got two more here. So I've done two, actually I'm just going to do one more. I've done two in the cool warm colors and I'm doing two in the cool colors. And then we'll go ahead and decorate these up. And then I wouldn't be surprised if, um, if I like the way they turn out, I will go ahead and um, do a couple more sets. So I think right now I'm going to go with a set of four. Maybe five, we'll see. All right, so there's that one. Let's try a different one. Let's try... These are just the big shapes I've got. Let's see what else we've got in here. See what other shapes we could use. I'm not going to do anything like an animal or whatever. That's pretty. You know what? We could do this and we could do it on with all three colors. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's do this one. I like this. So now this is the card. So I think what I'm going to do, we're going to do all three colors. So let's see what we come up with. There's that. There's this one. And then we'll do this on the top. Go back into this one, make sure it's done really well. And this one. Isn't that pretty? I like it. 
I want to do another one over top of it, but I don't want it to... Uh, let's try this one real quick. Alright, I normally don't leave drying footage in, but that one's going to stay in. So now I want to do it here. Same way, I want to do the bottom. Next up. And then the top. Okay, we'll make sure we get the middle. And the bottom. That's really pretty. Alright, I'm actually going to set that aside. And I'm going to do the envelope. And I think I'm going to do it just like this coming out of the corner. Because I really like the way that looked. Same thing. Now I could always change the colors around. I could start with the um, light on the bottom and work my way up. Or I could do, you know, anything in between. So, um, you know, it's not set in stone as to what colors I have to use where. As long as they're within the same color family, um, you can use them wherever you'd like. Alright, I got a little bit there. I don't know what that is, but that's okay. I like it. Oh, I like it. And there's a cat hair buster. He was up here loving. He couldn't let me be. Okay, because this is a smaller design, I want to do one on the back also. Just because I can. And only this time, I'm just going to turn this over. And I'm going to run my brayer on it. And let's see what we get. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Alright, let's set that one aside. So let me clean up these paints real quick. Um, this is another thing I found out about dilution paints. If you have a, a stencil, they normally just rub right off. You just have to be careful on your stencil that you don't, um, especially these, they're only paper. So you just have to be careful that you don't um, tear it. Or bend it like I just did. So anyways, but here they are. Okay, let me clean these paints up and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're going to start with this one. Let me bring you in a little bit. Alright, um, our edges are kind of rough on these, which is cool. I have no problem with that. What I got out here is I've got out some white. Um, this is a Uniball Signal and this is a Pilot Juice. And I have a white pigment ink pad. I've got my black archival ink. Um, I've got my gel pens. This is everything from Sharpie to, um, I don't know. Gel. These are all my gel crayons. Not all of them. Tim Holtz. Um, I'm going to pull out my oil pastels. These are going to be here with me. What else? And I've got Gina stamps. Yay! So let's play. Let's see what we're going to do. First thing I'm going to do, I also have a black Sharpie here, um, is I want to put something, a different color on this background. I don't want to leave it just the way it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out the total opposite of the colors I have on here. So I'm going to do a glue. This is a, a blue. This is a sparkle watercolor gel crayon. And I'm just going to start playing. And I am gonna have to wash my hands because the ink or the paint's coming off. So, but I'm just gonna play. Just gonna play, 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 and I do have to wash my hands off. Let me grab a baby wipe. I'm gonna stop you for a second, and I'll be right back. I just gotta wash my paint off my hands. Okay, so I've got them pretty well cleaned off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue playing. 
And again, this is just the gel crayons. Oh, I missed a spot. Let's see. Just going to play with them. And what this should do is, because I'm using a total opposite color, it's going to pop these out of the background. See how it pops them? I like it. So... This is the fun part. I just, you know, it's funny because I've had so many people, oh, you're so talented. Da, da. I am playing. I am just playing with supplies, figuring it out as I go. It's not, I have not sat down with a plan of how I want these to look. I have no idea. Um, it's just going to happen as I go. Do I make mistakes? Oh, yeah. Do I say, eh, I don't really like that? Yeah. But you know what? That's all part of learning, so just have fun with it. Don't expect perfection. There is no such thing. If there is, it's never been in my world. That's for sure. Just playing. You know, get out some supplies and just, you know, what can you do different with them? I That's one thing I like to do is I like to try to use my supplies in different ways. Now, I know when I go to outline this, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble because I've got gel crayons on here. But you know what? It is what it is. It's all good. And yes, Gina's stamps are going to be used on this. This is the whole purpose for this project. Um, if you'd like to pick up a set of her stamps or any of her stamps or digital downloads, definitely check out her Etsy shop. Uh, Gina's got a lot of really cool stuff there. I like it. Like it? I like it. So we're going to put this back. And I think what I'm going to do with this one, I actually originally started, I was going to try to do a, um, a ghosting, but I'm going to use this, uh, la, la, la. let's use this block. I'm going to use the arrow stamps. And what I'm going to do, yeah, well, I'm going this way and that way. So we're going to use our black archival with the two arrow stamps. Just want to make sure they're well inked. And then we're going to have them coming and going. Right about there. Coming and going. There they are. They're coming and going. So I want to wipe off the stamp. Normally I'd use it on my book, but I don't know where my book is. I have a wipe off book that I use. All right. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to use my Uniball Signal. I told you I was going to have a hard time with this, and I knew I was. But we're just going to give it a white outline. It doesn't want to mark. That's okay. I'm good with it. It'll give me what I need. I don't want that there. Should have done that in white ink. Huh. See, like I said, it's it's all, you know, learn. Now that I don't like, so we're going to bring that this way. And we're just going to do this with it. Do, 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 do. See, it's not, I don't know if you can see this. It's not going all the way white, which, whatever, that's all good. 
Again, these are handmade. They're not going to be perfect. I don't want them to be perfect. All right, now I am going to use, hmm, see if I can do some white in here. Just to bring them out just a little. Going to take I'm gonna take the word happiness. These need to go in there. Uh, let's see. We're gonna do this in white and see what it looks like. things that make me happy. I love it. All right, now let's take this and because we know they may, whoever that receives this may want to put um, an address on here, I'm not going to do gelatos on the background or any type of a gel crayon because they're very hard to um, write over. So what we're going to have to do is just something light so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around real light with this. And then I'm going to use uh, one of Gina's stamps, probably the arrow. And we're just going to stamp these little guys a little bit with, um, or maybe some other design. We'll see. No, let's use the arrow. Let's keep it in the same theme. So we're going to take the arrows. And I'm going to take the white, the white ink. Put an arrow in here. Well, let's see. It doesn't matter what's up and what's down, does it? Nah. All right. So we're gonna put an arrow here, and an arrow here. Okay, so here is one card. Oh, you know what? We got to do something on the back there. I probably should have done some painting on the back, but I didn't. And I'm not going to get all this stuff back out again. So let's use. I love that. I love the way that turned out. Um, we're going to use black this time. And we're going to do the same thing with the arrows, and we're just going to add arrows onto here. Okay. So we're just going to kind of throw our arrows on here. There we go. That works. Okay. So we have one card completed. I didn't put anything on the inside. I'm going to leave that blank and let them write whatever they'd like to on the inside. But there is one card complete. All right. So let's do some more. We got this one as a circle one. Now, before I put any gelato on this, I am going to 
I'm actually going to do this in black. I'm going to outline this in black. So let's start with that. This is just a Sharpie pen. Just writes black. That's all it is. Um, I'm getting so I really like using Sharpies. So I'm just going to just kind of outline here. I'm not doing it perfect. Again, there is no such thing as perfect in my world. I'm just kind of sketchy doing the outside of the uh, there we go. And then here. Here, 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 here. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just a little bit crazy. All right. Okay, so I just outlined them a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing with the envelope, just so I don't forget. Now this time I'm going to leave the cardstock the, the color that it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm thinking, do I want to give it a little poof with something? Like... Neon? No, I don't want to do neon. How about yellow? All right, so I lied. I am going to do the gelato thing. Or the... This is oil pastels that I'm using right now. Yep, I have to. Oops, sorry. I was out of frame. Let me bring it back out a little bit. So if I do that again. All right. So yeah, I have to use something to give it a pop. Pop. Sound like my mailman just came. It's way too early for that though, so. Yep. Had to do the pop. Pop, pop, pop. This is the best way I've found to blend these. I don't know if anybody else has a, you know, a, a unique way of doing that but that's the only way I can have figured out that I like to blend them and then this I'm just going to go around maybe a little bit just to kind of tie it all in together but still leave it so that it can be written on So that just kind of ties it in with that one. Now I'm going to take a white. I'm going to take white. Just because I want to. Where'd it go? Right here. And let's see. What are we going to do? What kind of stamps are we going to use? I like this one. Let's do that one. Um, as soon as I find it. Hmm. That one's not in here. So that tells me that it's probably in here. It is. It's right here. These all go in here. All right. So let's take white. I'm going to take this little one. i got to figure out what word I'm going to use. Um... First, let's use this. Let's do it the right way. Like it. Like it too. This is why I usually have music on because if I don't. I um, sit here and sing to myself, and that's kind of scary. <laughs> I 
I actually had someone tell me once, a long time ago, it was supposed to be a friend of mine. You're singing socks. I'm like, well, yeah, I know that, but hey. I can't bear to listen to that anymore. Okay. Nice chatting with you, too. Okay. So, like I said, we just used some white to play around with a little bit of Gina's stamps. Now I want to take a word, um, and I think I'm going to use either always or treasure. Uh, da, 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 da. Here's treasure. Ah, we'll do treasure. And we're going to do this in black. We're going to use the word treasure. Actually, you know what? We're going to do it treasure wisdom just because I can. Ha! Let's see, where's the. Let's make it this way. Okay, so we're going to do treasure. And we're going to use wisdom. As soon as I find it. You know what? I'm going to end up taking all these stamps and putting all the words together. That kind of thing. Just because I can. There's wisdom. It makes it easier for me that way instead of leaving them in sets. So don't be surprised one of these days if you see that happen. Treasure wisdom. I like it. All right. Now, um, I'm not done with these cards yet. I'm not sure where this one went right here because I definitely have to add some more dots and stuff to that. But right now we're getting the main stamping down. Then we're going to doodle and dot and see how it goes. So we've got Treasure Wisdom. We've got that there. Let's throw a couple. Um, let's do a couple of these in black for on the back of the envelope. We want it to um, fit with the overall theme, so we're going to do that. All right. So there's that one. All right, so we've got this one, which is Treasure Wisdom. And I got a phone call. I'll be right back. All right, so I have no idea where today's going, but man, it's going fast. Um, I had to take my phone call. It was from my hubs. He always calls to check in, see how I'm doing and what I'm up to. And and then I decided it was lunchtime, so I had to have some lunch. Then, of course, I get sucked into YouTube, watching YouTube videos. And when that happens, I just it seems like my day just goes poof. So anyways, I made myself shut it off and get my butt back to making these cards. So, again, I'm just using, this is the Uniball Signal. I should try the other one and see how it works. Let's try it. This is the Pilot Juice. Let's see what it does. I can tell you right now, it's not very juicy. This is just a little book I keep here to uh, do stuff in. Yeah, this isn't very... Let's try cleaning off the tip. Maybe because it's too fine of a nib. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, yeah. I don't have patience for that one right now. So, we'll go back to the Uniball. And I have to tell you, this is the only pen at this point that I have found that works decent. Um, I have tried the Dilutions paint pens. I had a very hard time using them. Not saying anything good or bad about them. I just have a hard time using them. I don't have patience when it comes to waiting for things. So when I pick it up and write with it, I want it to write then and there. That's a fuzzy. Fuzzies. And the Dilutions doesn't do that for me. So 
I'm back to my uniball signal. All right. Okay, so what are we going to put on this one? Let's use something different. Let's use one of Gina's uh, first sets that came out. Let's use these right here. Um, let's see, what are we going to put on here? This, if you're wondering what that is, what I did, I got to change my lighting. My lighting's messed up right now. Sorry, that was my chimes. Um, I took and print, I inked this on the foam before I cut it and put the stamp on it. And they just, they didn't, it didn't dry all the way, so some of them got messed up, which is fine. Let's put this little butterfly. Let's use this one. Butterfly and a bug. Let's see, we'll do the butterfly. So we're going to take my block and, come on, stand there, stand there you, um, let's do this in black ink. Come on. I probably, I think I have an idea who these are going to go to. Let's see where my top is. Let's go here. Yay! I like my little butterfly. Now, I like this little bug too. Choose the bug. Butterfly and bug. And what are we going to put on here? Not sure what that one says. We'll find something. Inspired. How's that? Little bug. Little bug. We got to put the little bug over here on this too. Let's set that aside. Little bug. All right. Now, this one says inspired. So we're going to put this one. Just drying it. We're going to take the inspired. I hope I'm not uh, boring you guys to death. Um, but I vowed to make myself do some more videos where I'm not um, just fast forwarding. Because I honestly, I enjoy spending time with people. That's the way I put it. Look at that. That's so cute. I love it. <laughs> um, so I, you know, I decided that I am going to try my best to do some videos that um, you can sh you know we can sit and you can create while I create and whatever because I enjoy doing that I enjoy people that will sit and talk throughout their process and so I'm just sharing that with you that's very cool all right I'm gonna let these dry I keep blowing on them I'm sorry but that's just habit all right, we're going to let those dry, and then I have one more. Now, this one, I really don't want to do a lot to. Um, I may put some, where's the little background stamp? Right here, this guy. We're going to use this, and then we're going to do it in black ink. And we're just going to... Just around. Okay. Do 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 do. 
All right. Because that one, I kind of want the, the, the flower, per se, to show more. Um, I do need to put a word on here, so let's find a word. We have artistic. We have, I still don't know what that word says. Um, inspired, you are beautiful. That's not any of those. Hmm. Sorry, I'm making a mess of my stamps over here, but that's okay. Love, let's do love. Love, love, love. Let's put love down. There's my other one. I gotta clean those stamps up. Okay, love. We're gonna do love. And we're gonna do it in black. It's one of my challenges I'm gonna do to myself, and I'll do it probably starting next year, is I want to be able to start using more of my archival inks. I have a lot more colors, but... Um, I'm going to put this right here. I want to start challenging myself. That's cute. To um, use them more. So we're just going to put love down here. And now let's throw it on the back right here. Okay. Now let me put some of this stuff away. And what we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to do some doodles on these and they will be done. Oh, I want to do one more thing before I put them away. Um, I want to, on these cards, uh, Mike Deacon sent this to me. This is a stamp by Indigo Blue and it says, handmade just for you with love. So I'm going to put that... on the backs of these cards again in black and there we go handmade just for you there's one we have this one going this way so we're gonna do two we've got three this one's all done in white ink but that's okay I'm gonna use black Make sure I have a right side up. There's another one. And the last. This one goes this way. So we have that stamp on here. I really like this stamp. Thank you so much, Mike, for uh, sending this my way. I really I appreciate that. And that is going to stay handy. All right, so that stays right here. Okay, let me get some stuff together. I'll be right back. Okay, so first of all, I got a candy bar. Yay! Um, and then I had to go get my pens. So now that we've got all these together, I actually thought about putting like a bling on these, but I don't want to do that because um, for one, it could raise the cost of um, mailing these. And, you know, it just adds a bulkiness and that just makes it a better chance to have it mess up when it goes through the um, automated sorting for the mail line. So that's why I'm not going to do this. Let me bring it in. All I'm going to do now is just basically doodle on the cards. Um, it could be anything as just whatever. I'm just going to doodle. Um, I don't really think about it when I start doing this. I just go with 
pure instinct. It's whatever my head's telling me to do. Well, I shouldn't say my head, my arm, my hand, whatever. Um, I just start playing. And these pens are fantastic for this. This is the Jelly Rolls. I really like the Jelly Roll pens. They seem to um, really make things pop. Now, if you notice, on the um, color that I'm using, I used cool colors for the actual background for the paint. So I'm using warm colors just to make it pop. And it's going to be the other way around. I'll use warm colors on the ones that I, I'm sorry, cool colors on the ones that I created with warm colors. And I'm just playing here. I'm not, like I said, I'm not overthinking it. I'm just playing with it and see how it goes. It's really windy here today. I'm actually recording this video um, a little bit before it's due to go out on YouTube, but uh, I like to stay ahead because when I have bad days, bad pain management days, sometimes they turn into weeks, and I just like to have all of my obligations done before um, they're due so that if I have that issue. So like I said, I'm just playing around with these. Um, Filling in the little dots that Gina put on her love stamp. And then just, you know, they don't even all have to be done. They're just, just giving it something just to pop a little bit. I'm not making sure that they're perfect. I'm just playing. I think that's one thing that I like so much about the mixed media is it's so versatile in what you can do. I mean, I could make my own stationery. I, you know, making these cards to give to somebody for them to give out. Um, there's just so many things you can do, whether it's canvases or art journals or gifts for somebody. Uh, and all of them you can use stamps on. So I love my stamp collection. It's quite large. I'm going to let that dry before I turn it over and do the other side, but I'm going to leave these pens here. So let's go on to another one. Okay, this one, this is the only one I did with that. Isn't that funny? Oh no, this one I did too. All right, so now this one is our cool colors. So now I'm going to use warm, or the other way around. This is our warm colors. So I'm going to use cool colors to make it pop. And I just want to, maybe I'll outline this a little bit. This is a, probably a dollar sort. It's just a smell. It doesn't smell like anything to me, but um, I like the smell of Sharpies. Those things are amazing. It's so funny because my husband's like, yeah, no. And uh, my granddaughter was up here a while back, and she says, she was using my Sharpies. She says, Grandma, these smell so good. <laughs> I said, yes, they do. <laughs> she cracks me up. I said, see, Jeff, we know what it smells good. <laughs> so, yeah, I was one of those marker sniffers in school. <laughs> they smell good. I can't help it. All right. So this was just a little bit of this one is actually uh, glitter. So I don't know. Can you see the? There it is. See the shine on it? So I just took that and did it around the arrows, just to give it a little bit of glitter. And now maybe, no, I want to do a different pen. Let's use, what's these? This one's probably glitter. Yeah, we're just going to do it like we're stitching. How's that sound? Sounds good to me, right? Stitch, 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 stitch. And that just looks like we took blue 
thread and stitch the whole way around it. And yeah, like I was saying, it's really windy out today, but it's relatively warm. Um, so, and then they're saying on Sunday we're supposed to get snow. That'll be the first time this year if we get it Sunday. Which is okay. Just gives me more of a reason to stay in my studio and play. Alright, so that's really all I'm going to do with that one. I just kind of give it a little bit of stitching around the outside and then the glitter on the arrows. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do some stitching. And then I'll put a little bit of glitter on the arrows and then this card will be done. See what we got in that. We got some we gotta do some glitter back there too. So well, let's leave that alone. Let's do the glitter back here. one. So yeah, when we get the snow, I'm just going to hang out and hopefully very soon I will be in my new studio. It's still in the process of being built. Um, we discussed it last night as to how far we have to go and there's a few more major things that need to be done, but it's going to be done here very soon. Okay, so that card is done. I gotta let this glitter dry, so I'm just gonna set that aside. This one should be dry enough for me to do the other side now. So same thing, I'm just gonna, I hope I'm not out of camera too much. Let me bring you out a little bit. So if I go out of camera. All right, so we're just gonna do dots. Dots, dots, dots. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, my studio has always been in the middle of our living space, whether it be, you know, um, we have a front room. Right now I'm currently in the family room, which has been reduced half its size because I take up the other half. And uh, we just, we want to get our family room back. And I really want my own space where I'm not, you know, in the middle of the living area. So, um, We've decided to build a studio for me. Oops, missed one. And I'm just so excited. I can't wait. I cannot wait to get into it. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so that one with this. Pretty cool. We're going to set that aside. Let that dry. Okay, we've got two more here. Oh. Let's start with this one. <clears throat> All right, so I want... I think I'm going to do something a little bit different with this one. I'm going to use white. Because I've got the white stamps on here, I'm just going to bring them out a little bit more. and um, just kind of accent what's here. Okay. So there's still Gina stamps. I've just highlighted them. Um, actually, and this is the envelope I'm doing. Didn't even realize that. That's okay. It's all good. Do, do, do. Mm. 
keep hearing motorcycles going by. All right, we're going to let that dry while I work on the card, and then we'll go back to this. Now, I've got treasure and wisdom here, and I really, I noticed you can't see them that well. So, I know I did them in black, but I am going to highlight them in white. Now if you noticed, I keep um, wiping off the tip of my pen and that's because I'm writing along that um, gel pen. And the first time I did it, I was basically taking the gel pen off the paper. So I cleaned it off the end of my pen and then I was able to write with the white. So just a little tip, if you've got some, see this W, it's not allowing me to do it, so I took the gel off, basically, with my pen. I'm creating a hole for it to go. And then I'm able to make the W white. I don't know if you can see that very well in that yellow. But it works. So I've got a treasure wisdom here. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then I am going to, I've got her stamps on here in white. And see how I brought them out there? I don't want to bring them out on this too much because we'll get rid of the, the you know, treasure wisdom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of do around the um, shapes themselves. Again, doing like a little stitching thing. Doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, perfect. I'm just do, 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 do. Just playing. That's what art is all about, is playing. Okay, let's do here, 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 here. All right, and I like it. So that's going to be good. This, I am going to do the um, stitch around these. And here. All right, still have to do something on the back, but we're gonna let that white dry. Okay, this is our last one that we're gonna play with today. And this I've done white in. This, I want to put a little bit of um, the warm colors in so that these this butterfly and this little guy pop out a little bit. I don't want the whole thing solid, but I will put in a little bit here and there. So we're going to do these part of his wings. I'll have to go through and put the black dots back in. Let's just do that. We'll just do that. It's easier. So we're just going to kind of wake him up a little bit. a 
little guy. We're going to give him some pink stripes. Oops, forgot this guy. Let's give this guy the same pink stripes. About another pink. Do, 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 do. I like this coral. Let's use some coral. Make his little antenna guys stand out a little bit. This is the fun part. Just being able to play and um, just have fun. This is a Sharpie, which... See how that's not all the way solid? I'm not going to fill it in, but I am going to make sure the outline is there. And then your eye will fill it in. So just by doing that little bit, it looks more solid. I cheated, in other words. <laughs> okay, now I want to take another pink. This looks like the pink I just had. Let's take a little bit of a purple. And let's just give them some randomness. Throw a couple dots on there. Let's, there we go. And all this is really doing is just kind of bringing these bugs um, to the forefront a little bit. They're not going to stand out, but they will, at least they'll be in, um, you'll be able to notice them better. See, now he actually stands out a little bit. And she's going to in just a minute. I'm not quite sure why I've got the little one as a he and the big one as a she. Maybe because it's a butterfly. Butterflies need to be she's. I don't know why. But I think that's a good idea. Okay. And let's just give a few of these some purple. Okay, and again, this side, some purple. Okay, and I want some black dots back in here, so I'm using the Sharpie pen for that. Sometimes these Sharpies don't like to write on gel pens either, but we make them do. I'll just throw in some more dots. Wind's blowing stuff down. All right, now the last thing I want to do on this is the inspired. I want to bring that back about too, so I'm going to make that pop by adding uh, just the little dots, highlighting the dots that Gina has in the stamp. All right, so there's the front of that one. I'm not going to do a whole lot more on the coloring in the wings and stuff because I want them to be that transparent. So this guy's pretty much the same. Oh, he needs some purple on his wings. Now I want to go back to this one. This is the one that we did. I'm going to take the white. Yeah. 
I'm going to take the white and all I'm going to do is highlight the dots that are on this stamp. That's all. Just highlight the white just to kind of pull it all in together. Now what I'm going to do and I won't be doing this on camera because I haven't gotten that kind of stuff out yet, but I will be taking probably some uh, Christmas tissue paper and I will put these all together. I'm going to let them dry really well first so they don't all stick together. Um, I'm going to let them dry really well, then I'll take some Christmas tissue paper, I'll wrap them in that, and then put them in a small pretty box. Um, and I actually know who they're going to, so yeah. I know she'll enjoy them. So I really hope you guys will take this month's challenge, um, which is gifts. It's not necessarily cards. This is just the way I decided to do it. Um, I hope you'll take this challenge and, you know, use your stamps. You know, we'd love to have you use Gina's stamps, but it does it have to be Gina's stamps? No. You can use any stamps you want. And make yourself... Um, some handmade gifts to give and I'll tell you that is one thing this world is missing um, we're miss oop I gotta do the I want to do the pink on this I wanna do the pink dots on here I forgot the dots my stuff is falling down around me I'm not sure what's up this just felt this just fell down to me it's a bookmark I made a while back it was standing up next to my calendar, but it came down. So anyways, as I was saying, um, definitely, you know, make your make your friend, your mom, maybe your sister, um, whoever, whomever. Make them a gift. You know, use the supplies you have for something other than just doing it in an art journal. All right, I gotta let that dry. And here is the love. I really like that one. And then this one is the arrows. All right. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this today. Um, as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. Don't forget to share what you do. We would love to see it. So as always, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.